If you're into crypto right now, you probably believe that we are going to be seeing some pretty juicy prices for things like Bitcoin over the next couple of years. But you might wonder exactly how high will it go and exactly when will it happen? Well, in this video, I want to go over three of the top Bitcoin top predictions that might give you some idea as to where the cycle might end and what type of high prices we should be expecting. If you guys are enjoying these daily crypto videos, make sure you go ahead and press that like button and let's dive right in. First off, we've got Titan of Crypto who said this, Bitcoin next cycle top at $137,000. Bookmark this post. Using the prized realized Bitcoin and drawing trend lines from a cycle bottom to one cycle top after, a potential price target for the next cycle top emerges. In this instance, it's 137,000 and it would occur on August of 2024. So it does a couple of things. It signifies all the tops, signifies the bottoms, which by the way are always about 80% decreases in price after the top. And it takes the bottom to the top of the next cycle. So it doesn't take the first top after the bottom, it takes the next top which again is about 300 weeks or so that it takes or about 2000 and a bit days. And following his extrapolation of also this top line, it would coincide here roughly in August of 2024 at a price of roughly $137,000. The second prediction actually follows an indicator that we use on the channel a lot, which is the Pi cycle bottom. Not too long ago, we were covering articles like this. The Pi cycle bottom is flashing, has Bitcoin bottomed out. And in hindsight, if you look at the prices right here for Bitcoin at slightly below $20,000, and I didn't realize that I still have it open on my own chart as well, you can just see where exactly the Pi cycle bottom is flashing. I wouldn't say it's the absolute best moment, but I'd say this is historically back in 2018. It does signify the bottom pretty well. And even here back in 2015, it did a pretty good job. And like I said, even though right now it doesn't seem to be perfect at the bottom, even from the week where it flashed, we're already up a crazy amount here since it flashed a good while ago. And Seth said this, Bitcoin could potentially reach 200 to $250,000 by the summer of 2025. This is by using 2015 bull market fractal without the COVID black swan. Using the Bitcoin cycle indicator, you can clearly see what was the bottom and the top and then draw a resistance line and put in the fractal. It makes sense. Bookmark this tweet for future reference. Now financial advice. I will let you know when I start DCA out again. Right now, I DCA in on red days. And again, this chart basically shows the biggest bottom after the bull mark, right? This 80% drop, which we always see after a new cycle high has already been met. And so we're basically repeating the up cycle now, which is going to uh, significantly increase over time following this trend line to roughly 200 to $250,000 over the next one and a half year or so. And then we've got one more analyst who signifies or predicts that a very interesting rally is upon us right now. He basically says this, for Bitcoin, the 200 weekly moving average has been very significant in portraying the previous bottoms. We can clearly see a market cycle here, completing every four years. We have some good times ahead, friends. And he shows ranges of the tops on different parts of cycles, the bottoms of, I guess, every major cycle, us hitting that bottom and right now repeating a certain rally that we witnessed multiple times after reaching this bottom zone. And now for not the peak part of the cycle, but a initial rally towards the upside, he's expecting about $80,000 or something along those lines before a potential correction could happen before yet again, reaching those all time highs that are significant, right? Because even though $80,000 should be an all time high, it's really not the goal the majority of people are looking out for as it's high but not that high. <laughs> I mean, in the crypto space, we're used to these crazy gains. So if an all time high is only 10%, 20% above the previous all time high, we don't expect that to be the top of the cycle. I'd say even though we should be expecting deteriorating returns over time, as the exponential rate that we've been seeing is pretty hard to keep up with, I still would expect that the top of this bull run 
we would see at least double the price of the previous cycle, meaning $150,000 or so per Bitcoin would definitely not be outside of my expectation, especially with words of confidence coming from guys like Larry Fink, the CEO of the biggest asset managers in the world, BlackRock. As he basically said, that people are getting into Bitcoin right now as it's a flight to quality. Now, before we move on, I wanna quickly say, if you're still looking for a platform to trade on, make sure you check out the links in the description down below because you might even be able to get yourself thousands or tens of thousands of dollars worth of trades for free. So just check the links down below to see if you're eligible, but it's definitely worth to check it out. And because I personally think that right now is the best time to prepare yourself with regards to trading in the bull market. So again, I'll leave some links down below. Anyway, as guys like Larry Fink are showing the support for Bitcoin and for the crypto ecosystem, to almost none of us, it's a question of will we see another bull market? It's just a matter of when, or when exactly and how high will it go? Apparently, there's an article. We asked ChatGPT if Bitcoin's price would hit 100,000 if the case uh, with regards to the Bitcoin spot ETFs was approved by the SEC. And I'd say the pretty solid and easy answer is Bitcoin spot ETFs are coming. BlackRock is entering the space and they have said before the investors that they're looking at want to get more into this asset because it's a flight to quality. We don't have to talk about the ifs or, or is it, it's just a matter of when. $100,000 per Bitcoin is not a question. Bitcoin spot is just getting approved is not a question. The biggest asset managers in the world are supporting this. It is going to succeed. And the way I always see it is, like Michael Saylor said, Bitcoin is either going to zero or a million dollars. There's no in between. The in between is just the waiting time for the inevitable of one of these two sides. And if you do not believe it's going to zero because all these guys like Fidelity, Bank Santander, BlackRock, etc., are supporting it, then most likely the opposite is true. It is going to a million dollars. And just to put the dot on the map here, I don't think Bitcoin is going to one million dollars. This cycle, I think, is going to take a little more time for Bitcoin to actually achieve that but I do believe it will happen. Please understand the halving cycle is also coming up in about six months from now, meaning that the Bitcoin mining rewards are going to be halved yet again. It puts into effect a certain scarcity effect and you have to realize that there are only 21 million Bitcoin in existence. Even if all the millionaires in the world wanted to have one, they couldn't, which is why there's this saying of, if you've got one Bitcoin, you're golden. But that used to be if you've got a thousand Bitcoin and perhaps over time it's gonna go to, if you've got yourself 0.1 Bitcoin, and then over time it's gonna go to, if you've got yourself 0.01 Bitcoin, you're golden and it might make you able to retire. Again, my core takeaway is be patient because there's only two options here. Either we go absolutely flatline broke or we found a golden ticket, and I still believe we found that gold ticket. So consider yourself lucky. And if you want more crypto updates, more predictions, more thoughts, I'm not an advisor, but I give you guys all my thoughts every single day on this channel. So hopefully I'll see you back again, and that's about it.